Your Excellencies, Dr. Darajeri Dugma, State Minister of the Ministry of Health of Ethiopia, Your Excellency and our um, our honor of all guests, Professor Sanait Fassaha, Director of Global Programs at the Susan Thompson Buffett Foundation, and the Chief Advisor to the Director General of the World Health Organization, our honorable members, guests, and all protocols observed. On behalf of ESOC's Executive Board and all the various conference organizing committee, it's with great honor that I welcome you all to the 29th Annual Conference of ESOC. The past one year has been a challenging year for all of us. And it was a year that has forced all of us to adapt into newer living and newer realities. As, a, as of January, 2021, we know that COVID-19 has claimed more than 2 million lives in our world. And more than 2000 of this are said to be from our country. The past one year hasn't been like a year like before, or hasn't been like any of the other years that we know in our life. We have lost many of our colleagues, many of our friends, and also many of the, those who have been serving our community relentlessly. And it was a year that we have lost our beloved colleague and a mentor. And we also say that she was a mother to many of the women and girls in our country, Dr. Katriel Hamdi. Doesn't end there. And as the year progresses and as the year moves, we have also lost many of our beloved friends and colleagues. And to start and to name some of them as our beloved friend and colleague who was a mentor and a friend to many of our OBGYN community and beyond, Dr. Jonas Getacho, our colleague who has contributed a lot to the field and has been a member and also a mentor to many of the OBGYNs, Dr. Tasfaya Ilala, and our young colleague who has been a very good colleague of us and a friend to many of the young OBGYNs, Dr. Naol Nageo. It's a year that we have lost our colleagues and also many who have been standing beside the side of our patients and clients who've been there needing their help. So we honor all the healthcare providers, all who have been at the front line, who've been in all in and out of both clinical and non-clinical services and honoring our clients and standing beside them during this pandemic. It is also a year that many of our colleagues and members have lost their beloved ones and a family member with all the unforeseen challenges that we are seeing in our country. It is paramount and also very important to stress that women and girls are the prime victims of instabilities, conflicts or wars or any of the public health emergencies like COVID-19 pandemics. Ladies and gentlemen, I kindly ask you all to stand together with me and to give a moment of remembrance to all the lives that we have lost the past one year. Thank you all very much. The theme of this year's annual conference is mitigating the impact of COVID-19 in RMNC aid services. We chose this theme because as we all know, as an RH community and an SRH community, that these services have been impacted variously and have faced different challenges throughout this pandemic. And we had a very successful two-day pre-conference CME with our first full virtual CME and with renowned speakers from all over the world. And uh, while the pandemic has affected many of the fields involving the scientific and the SRH community at large, our scientific com committee and has uh, received several abstracts and reviewed 
many of the scientific abstract sensations that are going to be presented today and tomorrow. And this year's conference is unique in many of its aspects. You can see how many we are in the room. And we are having like our first hybrid conference. And this also proves and also shows us that though there are a number of challenges that are, we are facing, there are also a number of things that we can embrace and move forward with resilience, creation, and gratitude. Members of ISOG have been actively participating in different national, regional, and international undertakings and contributing their technical, their contri their technical contribution. And we had a series of webinars that was arranged by ISOG on COVID-19 pregnancy and women health. And we have also had our members participating at different stage representing the motto we always stand for. That is the right of women and girls to choose and get the compassionate and competent kids they deserve with the scientific advances and beyond. While the pandemic has, while the pandemic has affected our ability to gather and be together in person, <laughs> as the fact that we see in here, we also had an opportunity to have our members who are now following us virtually and our partners and also our distinguished honorary members who are with us virtually from all over the world. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to the members of the CME, the scientific and other organizing committee of the conference and to all our sponsors and our partners who made this day a reality. By taking the advantage of all the sessions offered the next few hours and also tomorrow, please thank them all with me. I wish you all a wonderful and conference and I kindly I invite Professor Sanait Tessa to the stage for her keynote speech. <laughs>